Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch and I'm on Moodle for Teachers where you can get free professional development. This is Moodle MOOC 21, which is a four-week course that takes place every May and November. I'm going to show you what you need to do in the first week, which is right here, Introduction and Orientation. You click on it. Don't worry about what's on the right and what's on the left at this time. Focus on the center. There's a video there that explains how to navigate, but I'm going to show you anyways. What you need to do is scroll down. There's an introduction with explanation. There's a video of the Zoom meeting, the first one. It's a recording. And then notice what's here. Okay, look at the icons on the left. The first one says PowerPoint presentation. If you click on it, you'll get the PowerPoint presentation. Next to that is recording from the editor. And notice this is a discussion form. I don't know if it looks like one, but that's what it is. There are currently 30 unread posts that I have to read. As the student on the site, it says recording from the editor, video tutorial, add the link of your video. You're going to create a video tutorial showcasing how you record your voice. And this is what the editor looks like. There's further explanations here on how to get started to use Screencast-O-Matic and Vimeo, as well as how to use the Screencast-O-Matic that is part of my organization, which is right here. So reading is really, really important. For those of you that don't like it so much, try to give it a chance. But if you make mistakes, that's fine. It's not really making mistakes. It's called the learning process. So if you click on Screencast-O-Matic right there, it'll take you here where you can actually record your screen, add a recording to the channel. Let me go back now and continue. Notice there's Vimeo screen recorder, which you can also use, so you have a choice. I scroll down and then I'll get other information. What I'm going to do is I'm going to access, notice this is the discussion form, I'm going to access the blue here, which is always clickable, so I can respond once I understand what I have to do. Again, I'm going to scroll down, and it's a long scroll because there's a long explanation until I get to this blue strip. The blue strip says, add a new discussion topic. That's me. I'm going to click on it. Notice these people have done this already. Okay, and uh, they've already had replies as well. So let me again click on add a new discussion topic. That's how I start. I'll click on that. And then notice the red. The red means that it's required and it'll say required. I'm going to add something. In my case, I'll just add test. Now notice here, there are two rows right now. I'm going to click on the arrow pointing down, if you missed that over here. Click on that and it'll open four rows. Yay! Now I'm going to take a look at, as it indicated in the editor, in the image of the editor, there is a microphone here and a video icon there. And that's what I want to do. I want to showcase the way I am now, showcasing this to you. I'm going to showcase it and explain how I record my voice. I click on the icon and then a window pops up. I click on the green so I can record my voice and I see that the bar is moving, which means it's recording. I'm going to click on it again to stop it. Next, I'm going to click on the upload over here because I want to show you what I did. Going to upload it, click on the upload, and notice what happens over here. It's being converted. I'm going to wait, and there it is. Now I can share that. Okay, so, but before I do, I'm going to finish my video and add the link of my video over here. 
And where do I get the link of my video? I get it from over here. After I create my video, notice this person created a video. I'm going to tick on the right of my mouse and I get a copy of the video. I'm going to take a copy of the video, click on the copy, and then I'm going to go back to the course. Remember the course is here. I'm going to add the link. That's it. And then I'm going to post a form over here. If I want to, I can also upload it to YouTube or Vimeo if I wish. But right now, that's all I'm going to do. Scroll down and there you can see my name over here that I posted. This is called a post. And you need to get credit for posting. So I'm going to click on the test, which is my post. And there it is. You can see the link to my video. And I'm going to get a grade for this. But before I do, let me go back here. I need to respond to somebody else. Well, not really respond. It's called reply. So I need to reply not to myself, but to someone else's work. So I'm going to do it over here. And this is how you do all the work in the discussion forms. Okay, let me scroll down so I can reply. Notice the reply button is right here. I'm going to click on it and reply. And that's how it's done. If your video doesn't have all the elements, you'll get an explanation from me and then your video will go to the support form and I'll show you where that is. It's going to go to the support form so others don't get confused. So notice I'm here right now. Okay, I want to go from right to left or I can go to the bottom of the page and go next activity or the previous activity. In my case, I want to go to the previous one. And that's how I do it. There's the PowerPoint. I don't want that one, so I'm going to leave that. And here I am. Okay, so um, let me um, continue here. So we've done the recording from the editor. And once we do that, we'll get it ticked off. Right now it's not ticked off, it's only gray. It needs to be blue or green. Let me scroll down to the next task. Okay, the next one is this icon. Notice over here, support form. If I have a question, please add your questions there. Here is an introduction. I'm going to introduce myself in the same way. I click on the blue. I start a new discussion topic over here and remember to respond to others or reply. So I can click on their names over here next to their names on the introduction, click on that and then scroll until I get to reply over here. Click on the reply and reply. All right, so let's go back now. We're going back from the top here to introduction and orientation. And we're going to scroll down. We could go to the next, right? But we're doing it this way. So we did the introduction. We got it ticked off. Well, I haven't, so I don't have it ticked off, but it will be ticked off. Next is profile. I'm going to create and document all the information the way I'm doing it now for you with Screencast-O-Matic. That's what I'm doing. I'm showcasing week one with Screencast-O-Matic. Going to go into this and start a new discussion topic. But before I do that, I need to explore my profile, which is at the top right. There's also a video here that may help. And there's a lot of information. I want you to document all the information that's available under your profile. So you go to profile over here and you got to go to the grades, you're going to go to the messages, the preferences, 
and right through everything under preferences. Profile, you start with a profile at the top and then notice what's available here. You don't have to edit your profile and show us that, but you need to go into these settings so that you get more information. So if I go into this, it'll give me a lot of information. Notice here. And you're going to go into each of these and tell us what they're about. And then you're going to go back to your profile at the top right and go to preferences and explain what these preferences are. You're also going to go into your badge backup settings. Now notice under the backup settings, only one works. The other one is still there by Moodle. Don't worry about it. Ignore it. What you need to get is only this one. Okay, not another one that appears, and it may appear. Notice I haven't done it because I have an account somewhere else. But you need to create an account on Badger, and then you can join. Let me go back now. How do I go back? The best way to go back is either to go back on your browser or go into Recent. I'm going to click on Recent. Moodle MOOC 21 will appear there where I was before. And notice where I am. It's currently blue introduction and orientation because that's what I'm showing you and that's what I'm doing in week one very important for you to complete this don't wait for the live sessions on Sunday they're only there to help you but you have to work during the week if you don't finish the work by week two the system will delete you because you need to have the work done it's four weeks you're going to have to team up. Let me show you how. And if you don't create a team and work with your team, you will not be able to create a collaborative course and get your final certificate. So everything is important. So we've gone down to profile. We're going to scroll down until we get to student engagement. This is pretty easy. You simply respond, post, start a new discussion topic and then reply to others. Group formation, notice here, you start a group formation. You're trying to form a group with people, with teachers, of course, who have similar interests to, to yours. So click on this Padlet and start working on it. Don't wait till the last minute. Don't wait for week two. Okay, it's constant work. You can't do it a day before. So here it is. And notice only a few people have added it. What you need to do is click on the plus and add your information under each one. So here is your time zone. Here is the subject of your online course. Read the instructions and you'll do just fine. So let's go back to the course. That's team formation. That's one team formation. Another team formation is down here where you can discuss by text various items. Who do you want to work with? What are your goals in a collaborative course? What is the topic? And once you decide, you or at least you have an idea, you create a team or you join someone else's team. I notice I'm here as a student. I'm going to click on it. And these are my options. I can create a group if I think I have a strong idea and everybody's interested and they want me to do it. I'll create it for them after I've discussed it. Notice um, this person doesn't even have a name to their group. It's very difficult to join a group without a name. We don't know what this person wants. This one has a name. So we know what it's about. That's great. And now we simply become a member. Notice each group can have up to 10. And there are only two groups. One, we don't know what the topic is. And the other one, we know. And there are two people already. Once the teams reach 10, that's it. The team or the uh, group closes up. And you can't join that. So make sure that you do this. You can't continue in the course unless you belong to a group. This is a very dynamic course. It's not a course where you just read and follow videos. You are doing the work, which is what happens online in every LMS with Moodle. The students do the work, and they do a lot of work. That's what's great about it. All right, so let's go back now and see what we have left. So we're going to the introduction and orientation. We're going to scroll down. 
we formed a group or a team and we're going all the way down we don't have any questions so we don't need to use a support form there is one more discussion on forms whether to subscribe or not watch the video and decide whether it's a good idea to subscribe or not but before you reach the end you may find that your video wand up here you don't submit your video here i move it here if it's incomplete or you made a few mistakes from what i would like you to do but the videos are great generally but they don't follow the instructions but that's okay it's still a process and that's how we learn especially online did you ever wonder why they call it learning online or online learning but they don't say anything about learning in the face-to-face -face because online you are actively learning so i hope you enjoy moodle MOOC 21 and start doing the activities for week one we're ending week one very soon today's saturday tomorrow's sunday by monday you should be in the teacher editing rights which i'm going to talk about tomorrow at our live zoom meetings thank you for watching subscribe to my channel ask questions in the comment box and have a great day